Hello students welcome to the next lecture on the differential equation today we will discuss about the method of the undetermined coefficients when your right hand side of this differential equation is of the trigonometric form sin cosine sin square and so on how you can solve this type of the problem as we discussed that whenever this r of x is a non zero then you can find this general solution with the help of complementary solution and the particular integral this complementary solution you can find with the help of the auxiliary equation while this yp that is a particular integral you can find with the help of method of undetermined coefficients this first part that is depending on the nature of this r of x whether it's exponential whether it's a whether it's a polynomial whether it's a constant or the trigonometric functions are there so we will see according the yp these two parts we already discussed in our last two videos now we will discuss about of this trigonometry portion whenever there is a sin cosine sin square and so on we will take the yp as of a sin plus b cos or a cos plus b sin so depending on that whether it's a if it is a then you can take here as a also if it is a b then you can take here as a b we will explain this one as with the help of these four examples in this video you can see this is the sin of x this is the cos of x this is a sin of x also present along with the e this is a sin square of x how you can solve then we will see myself dr gar working in the school of mathematics thapar institute you can simply follow this link for finding the various mathematics related videos now you can see this r of x is a non zero and it belongs to the part of this trigonometric sides are there so how you can solve this equations so the general solution of this one is the y complement plus y particular where yc is obtained from the homogeneous part by using auxiliary equations as m square plus 6m plus of m can you find the value of the m from here you can easily find this value you can find the roots of this and hence you will get the m as minus 1 Minus five. So therefore, what is the value of the y c? The y c is obtained as of this way: c one e raised to power minus one x, c two e raised to power minus five x. And the coefficient of the c one and c two is called as the basis. Now, how you define the value of the y p? How you define the value of the y p? Since it is of the sine of the two x, so you can take a sine two x plus b cos of two x, or else. you can also take as a cos of 2x plus b sin of 2x whatever the angle are there you have to take in this form now once you will define your yp compare check whether the sin of 2x appears in this yc or not check whether the sin cos of 2x appear in this or not in this example it is not appear we will see in our next example that is example 2 where it appears then what will happen now since a uh, sin 2x and cos 2x doesn't appears in the yc so we can consider this as a yp now you can substitute this yp value in here in order to substitute here what you can do is you have to find the value of the y dash and the y double dash so you can easily find the value of the y dash is a like this way you can easily do that and similarly for the y double dash once you will get the y dash and y double dash substitute here you will get this expression now you can equate the coefficients on sin 2x and cos 2x on the both side so you can see what is the coefficient of the sin 2x is minus of 2a this is of minus of 12b and this is plus 5 of a and the right hand side is my 1 similarly for the cos 2x right hand side is 0 this is minus of 2b this is my plus of 12a this is my plus of 5 b so from these two equations you will you can see that this is nothing but my 3 3 a minus of 12 b so i can write like this way so from these two equations you can easily find the value of the a and b like here once you get the value of a and b you can substitute here you will get the value of y p so therefore now you have the y c you have the y p substitute here you will get the general solution of this this is y c this is the yp is the required answer of this problem look at the another one is there you can see again right hand side is my cos or sin natures are there you can find this yc and the yp firstly so yc is here so what is that this is nothing but my plus minus of iota so whenever there is a form of the alpha plus minus of beta then your auxiliary equation will be like of this cos of beta x 
plus iota sine of beta x. So we are here in this example, what is the value of the alpha is my 0, beta is my 1. So you can substitute here, e raised power 0 is nothing but 1 and this is nothing but my here. So you can see this is there. Now what is the yp, how you can find the value of yp? So if it is there, then you can take y is equal to a cos x plus b sin x or otherwise you can also take as a, a sin x plus b cos x. Now in this example you can see the angle is x so that's why here. Now if you consider this one here, can, can the cos x be present here? Yes. Is the sin x present here? Yes. So it means either of one is present here then what you can do is you have to multiply this by the term x are there. Now since if you consider yp as here but x present in this, if you if you consider this as here, you can find the y dash, you can find the y double dash and substitute in this case, you are unable to find the value of a and b. So that is the case of failure. So whenever there is a case of failure, why? Why it's a case of failure? Because you can see the cos x and sin x are already appears in the yc. So whenever there is a case of failure, what you can do is you have to multiply this with the help of x. Now what is the coefficient of the a is x sin x. What is the coefficient? This is x cos x. Now you can check whether the x sin x appears here. No. Whether the x cos x appear here. No. So now this will, will give you the value of a and b easily. Now you can find the value of y dash and y double dash here and substitute the value in this equation. This is the y dash. This is the y double dash. You can substitute the value here. You will get the expression after simplification this one. Now you can equate the coefficient on both sides of the cos x, you can equate the coefficient of the sin x on both sides. So what is that? What is the cos x is my 2 of a is 1 minus of 2b is 0. So what is that? a is nothing but my half, b is nothing but my 0. You can substitute this a and b 0 and half in this equation. What is that? This will be 0. So x is half and this is my yp. Substitute this yp in here, you will get the required answer of this. Look at the second, third examples are there. Now you can see this is a sine square, but we need always in the form of the sin x or cos x are there. So can you convert this in the form of the sine of cos are there? You can use the formula of the cos of 2a. So all of us knows that this is the formula for the this one. So can you find the value of the cos sine square x from here? This is nothing but my this one. Now you can see it can be written as of this form. Now, once you are written here, now you can find this yc and the yp easily. From the yc, you can solve this equation. After the solving, you will get here. Here, alpha is minus 1, beta is 1. You can solve this one. How you can find the value of the yp is there? So you can see this I can return as of this form. Now, this half is my constant. So I can take a constant here. This is a sine cosine form are there. So I can take an as a b cos of now the angle is my 2x plus c sine of 2x is there. You can see this is a constant so I have taken the 1 as a and this is the portion corresponding to here. Now you can check that this is a constant a. Is the constant a appears here? No. Is the cos of 2x appear here? No. Why? Because this is the e raised power minus x cos x. Sine 2x appear here? No. So you can take this as here. So that means there is no need to multiply x on both sides. x here. Now you can find the y dash, you can find the y double dash and substitute the value here. You will get this expression. This is the y double dash, this is the y dash and so on. Now what you can do is you can equate the coefficients. You can equate the coefficient of the cos of 2x on both sides. You can equate the coefficient of the sine 2x on both sides. You can equate the coefficient of the constant on the both sides. So what is that? You will get this expression. This is the coefficient of the cos 2x. This is the coefficient of the sine 2x and this is the coefficient of the constant b. So from here you will get the value of a as a 1 by 4. This will be cancelled out. The coefficient of c is nothing but my 1 by 8. This will be cancelled out. The coefficient of b will be my 0. So once you will get the a, c, b, you can substitute here. You will get the expression of yp. This. Hence the solution will be my yc plus yp is the required solution. The last question is there. Now you can see this is the form of the exponential as well as of the sine are there. Again, the rule are similar. You have to firstly solve this equation and you will get this as of here. Once you will get the 2 iota, then what is the equation for this? This is nothing but my C1 
cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x. How you can take the value of ip? You can see this is the exponential part. So you can take this is the constant for the exponential. This is the sign are there. So you can take this is a b sin x plus c cos x. But this will take as a three arbitrary constant a, b and c. But if you if you multiply this constant with again here, what is that? This is a, b sin x plus a, c cos x. So you can see this part a, b. A, B is nothing but the constant. The product of the two constant is a constant. This is also the constant. So I can take this as another constant of this, say A dash plus say B dash of sine, sorry, cos X are there. Now you can see, now there are only two constants are there. That will be much easier than of this. So therefore, you can take YP as of EX of this one. Now once you will take as of YP is this, now you can find the Y dash y double dash you can substitute the value here and after that you can equate the coefficients what you can do you can equate the coefficient of the e raised power x sin x on both side you can equate the coefficient of the e raised power x cos x on both side so what will happen this is a one this will be equal to one and this will be my zero and after solving you will get these two equations and hence value of a and b are here substitute the value here you will get the yp of this. So finally, the general solution will be my yc plus yp is here. So this is the way you can solve the method of the undetermined coefficients when there is a uh, there is a trigonometric functions on the right hand side. We will see how you can uh, see the method of the variation of the parameter for finding this particular integral. This is another method for finding this uh, particular integral along with this method of the undetermined coefficient. Till then, you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.